Welcome to another episode of the Levity Flowcast. Today we sit down with Alex from Laboratory. We talk about CBD, Kratom, and all things head shop related. So sit back, relax, and Flowcast. Alex, I, I, last, last real big thing I saw from, you know, the laboratory is Kratom. Can, can you talk to us about that, kind of educate our listeners on what that is? I certainly can. Kratom is a, uh, definitely a more, the more controversial of the mm-hmm. things that I sell, I would say. Um, Kratom is from a plant called Mitra- or Mitragnia speciosa, um, and essentially what it does is at certain dosages it tricks your body into thinking that you took an opiate. So, but what's really fascinating about it is at lower dosages, it acts more like a stimulant. Mm -hmm. Now, this is also strain dependent because as I found out over the years, there are so many strains of Kratom that it's insane. And you have have Mangda, Bali, Malay, Mm -hmm. um, and even within that, then you have red, green, silver, white, and all these different strains of everything and different variations. The number one use I would say that we get for Kratom is for people who want a mild painkiller, but they don't want to turn to prescription opiates. <laughs> or they have a history with prescription opiates and they don't want to use them anymore because, you know, for whatever the reason is. It's I, a slippery slope. Well, I'd say one of the most eye-opening things I ever had in the Kratom category is I had a gentleman years ago pull up in front of the shop, and this is when it was still the Hetty Gallery before I owned it. And um, he got out of... At this time, I think it was like 2017, 2016. Whatever year it was, it was that year BMW 7 Series. I mean, the guy obviously had some cash. Mm. Came in in one of the nicest three-piece suits I've ever seen in my life. Rolex, you know, super fancy Bluetooth headset, slick back haircut. And I mean, the, the, the guy just looked like he, like, cash Smelled fell Smelled of money. Yeah, like cash <laughs> fell out of his pocket everywhere he walked. <laughs> And uh, he came in and he asked me about the Kratom and I was a little taken back because I wasn't used to that kind of person asking me for Kratom. <laughs> and uh, he looked me right in the eye and he said, you know, young man, I'm, I'm 67 years old and I've come to the f- realization that I'm an opiate addict. I was kind of taken back and I was like, Fuck. oh, and, and he, said, I got a, he said, I got a back surgery 30 years ago and for 30 years I have taken a Percocet every single day of my life. And he's like, holy it, shit. And he's like, it just kind of dawned on me not too long ago that I'm, and he goes, I'm not your textbook addict, but I'm addicted to this. I have not gone a day in 30 years without taking one of these pills. And so he got on the Kratom and he bought a, a pretty good amount of, of the red vein, which is definitely the better of the strains for, you know, opiate withdrawal or just pain killing in general. Um, and he'd come in and he'd buy a bag and then I saw him a little less, you know, he'd come in and buy a little less and come in and buy a little less. And one day he just came in to basically shake my hand and let me know that took about a year but that he was good to go off of everything and Jesus he, he moved over to using cbd creams and topicals for the pain wow. his back wow. and, you know, the, the one thing i try to explain to people with cbd is it's not going to make your pain go away it's not a magical snake oil or anything like that but it makes things manageable mm. yeah. it, it's it, it makes it so your pain is dull enough where you can you can get throughout your day and you can focus on something else mm-hmm. rather than just pain I want to relax, relax, put my mind at ease Good friends and good vibes, now that's all I need When life hurts, come down and flow to levity Let your problems wash away into serenity, whoa